morning guys i don't know why i'm doing this i am so excited it literally feels like christmas because my new furniture is getting delivered within the next hour i've been going on little morning matcha walks this week the past few days and it has just like been the greatest thing ever then this morning um i stopped at trader joe's because i needed new flowers i just love having fresh flowers in my house it's truly the best thing another mock-up of some potential breadwinning housewife anyways today is thursday my furniture arrives today i have therapy going to pilates tonight i'm just so excited for this new couch and i have a new table and i have a light because guys this light my literal arch nemesis i hate you is going actually not going today but we're getting the replacement light today um, I don't know the scheduling with the electrician yet, but I'm so excited everyone <laughs> I'm literally so happy and it's Thursday. So a new podcast just dropped on mine Natasha Bure came on the podcast, which I just adore her. She's so fun We had a really good conversation about like self-worth confidence self-love navigating your 20s all that stuff We gave a lot of book recs too. Also guys. I don't know what it is about 2021 but like my books this are not hitting it, okay? I hate that light too. Um, on the bright side though, Tessa Bailey and Josie Silver both have new releases this week. So I finished the book club book this morning. Actually, I woke up early and I was reading. Just like, what a good morning, you know? And now I can start the two books that I've been waiting for forever. I've had them on pre-order for the longest time. So anyways, I have my stuff here. I'm gonna get going on my floral arrangements and listen to my podcast while I'm waiting for the furniture to be delivered. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Wow. Guys, it's actually like the perfect size. <gasps> I definitely need... A chair and not a love sack and a coffee table, but oh my god, it's so cozy. I need a smaller circular thing. <gasps> I'm so happy. Wow, it's fabulous, everyone. It's actually like literally the perfect size. All right, y'all, and you come over here. I know all my my jackets are covering this, but I finally have an entry table. I know it looks a little bit like stark with all the white around. By the way, that mirror, I forgot to take that downstairs actually yesterday. We are going to hang, as of right now, a gallery wall, which I know is like kind of chuggy, but I wanna do, listen, I know you do that like when you're married, but I do want like some photos of like me and my friends cause I'm young, like when will I ever have those again? Not have or have friends, but like normally you do it with your family. I didn't realize that I got stuff on my sweater too, but anyways, it'll be better contrast and I'll have, I want to do like black and white film photos of me and my friends, like disposables, um, and hang them here. And I have a set of nine that might be too small anyway, so I might have to exchange those. But then I was like, maybe I just want to do like, like cowboy horse photos, you know what I mean? Cause that's very me. So we'll see. Um, I do have some things that we're going to set here though. And by things, I mean two things. So one sec. All right, so this cowboy boot, it's really not working here either. I'm going to keep it down here for the time being. I got it at, I think, like an estate sale or something for literally $2. Um, this I just brought down from my room, which it's almost out anyway, so I really don't need to. This is CB2. I'll link it below. I just love this. Really, I think I need... Oh, and the, that's the gallery wall. Okay, really? Obviously, it's not going to be set up like that. Ignore that. Um, maybe a nice, like, book. I think, like, open. A big candle. A black candle. And then black frames above. We're just, like, we're doing some things here. All right, guys? These are CB2. They're so soft. I actually might want, like, one or two more. Because they're so freaking soft. And then I have these. I believe I got them at home goods or something. I'm not sure, but... They're very good pillows, very just like durable, easy. I always use them. So it's all like neutrals here. Coco's really loving her new couch that she thinks is hers. I have so much space on this couch and I just lay down and get cozy and no longer wash for any night lights. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time. If any of y'all know a like anyone similar to like Tim Riggins or Coach Taylor, 
I'm your girl. I'm their girl is actually what it is. I'm their girl. Maybe this over here. I don't know, guys. I have a lot of stuff. Flowers here would be cute, actually. Yeah, I actually like that, guys. Here's the other thing. I have a lot of blankets, and I do actually need storage for those. I don't know how that's gonna happen, though. But anyways, and I'm gonna get a coffee table, like a round coffee table, but I don't want it to be... It, it's not gonna have storage, basically, because I just need to make it feel like there's more space in here. Um, but look at what blanket I got on Bobble Bar, which I thought they just did those bobble necklaces. No, no, no. They're very multifaceted, they are, Bobble Bar. You know what? Actually, this can move over here because I do have a candle for here. Um, all right, now that we just have so many random things here, I feel like cowboy push in the middle of this would be nice. I need to get some like Western books or something. I don't know. It's one of those things where this stuff is just staying here for now. It's not going to look like that. Do not be concerned. Um, but I need to see if those are even going to fit. A cute little like bread winning housewife blanket that actually would look very cute as well. I and mean, we've got a lot of things. I just really spice it up with the blankets, you know? I'm considering like just going ahead and moving this love sack. I don't know what I want to do. I haven't decided. I need baskets. And then over here will be the like chocolate brown pompous as we know. Move that. I just want to see the vibe. Um, no, that's probably not the vibe, but maybe. You know, I don't know. And like another thing, guys. So I just sat on my couch. It is so comfortable. It was very difficult to get up. Um, but I'm also just really tired and lazy. So, you know. All right, let's do this. So... We have nine of these and like again, it might just be like chewy. Yeah, they're definitely not big enough Part of me wants to get a few different pieces and then just do like one or two photos And get them made in black and white so it looks like they're like film photos and not necessarily like pictures with friends But like this is too small. So these are gonna be returns um, And the frame is really nice enough looking But like this would be good for like college apartments and stuff but anyways that has got to be fixed i'm gonna look at different western stuff and see what i can do um but that's definitely a return the okine final fingers crossed samples god this is really hard hold on let me get scissors ready Okay, and then black. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, the quality on this one, yes. Oh, and it has the tag. Okay. I am so happy. So clearly, we just approved samples, which is such good news. I'm actually at my management's office. If you guys know my friend Amanda that I've been friends with since I lived in LA, she moved to Dallas, she's from Dallas originally, but we met in LA. She just got a job at my management's company and actually is now on my team, which is funny. Anyways, I'm going to the office and I have the stuff to show everyone because I'm so excited. Had a great afternoon at the office. I'm now listening to Tim McGraw. I'm so excited for this, guys. Like, oh my God, I could literally die. Um, I have a workout in an hour and a half and I just got Sonic. I was really craving their grilled chicken sandwich. They were talking about it at the office and I got it. It just, it's so freaking good. All right, I'm home. I've changed into my Pilates set. I'm going to Pilates. I'll be back later. I have a lot of work to do tonight. By the way, you're ours. I'm back for my workout. I self tan, I'm in pajamas, and I'm currently making dinner. While it is in the oven though, I just organized all of my vitamins, which I've been meaning to do. I lost my container. I've been off my vitamin game. Oh, that is a salmon. I've been off my vitamin game recently, but I got this new one that is from Amazon, I'll link it below, and actually it's gonna be so convenient because when I'm traveling, or let's say I'm going to eat dinner out, I need to eat, like, I wanna take my vitamins when I eat, obviously, so I can just throw this in my purse. Like, that is just the most convenient thing ever. And they have a night and day section. I really actually like these. And then it just goes up in this little, like, thing that I don't even really mind having on my counter. I don't love having stuff on my counters, but I'll survive. I just made another Emily Mariko salmon bowl. I am years late. 
I'm about to go sit on the new couch and cuddle up and actually edit and just get some work done for the next probably like hour or so, probably until like 10. I normally don't work at night, but I have things to do. I think for the time being, I might actually move the love sack, go ahead and move that downstairs until I have like my new chair, new coffee table, which needs to be ordered like ASAP. Here I am, all self tan. I've been asking for a lot of help and input on TikTok just because it's more instant. So go follow me, it's Kinsey the Texan, all right? Um, because I need your help. Anyways, I'm just having the best day and the best week. I'm not kidding. I think it's because, well, one, the weather is incredible. And two, I've just been starting my days off with walks. I love my house. It feels so cozy. I love the new additions. Like, I'm having such a good time with my friends. Like, I'm just very happy and I'm very grateful. And I'm so grateful for you guys because you guys really, like, allow me to, like, do all these, like, crazy cool things. And, like, I'm just, I love you guys. You guys are literally the greatest people ever. And I'm just so grateful. Anyways, I'll stop being annoying because I feel like I'm annoying and cheesy in every vlog. But I will talk to you guys in the morning. I'm going to Hip Hop Friday Spin, which I'm excited for. And then I'm actually going to the Thompson. They invited me in for a facial and a blowout. So I am really looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be like morning, guys. It's 7. I'm ready for Spin. Wearing a matching set. It's long sleeve. Socks and Prada loafers. I'm a fashion queen. When I went, guys, I'm telling you, when I went to the office yesterday, the like, entire accounting team has these um, tumblers, and they all said they're the best water bottles ever. And I said, I know, I use it for water too. Yeah. All right, off to spin I go. All right, I'm obviously back from spin. Went home, I showered, I sent a wire transfer. Starting a business, especially in clothing, is so expensive, especially when you're funding it. Um, so, sent that wire transfer, cried a little bit, actually. And now we are off to the Thompson. They are gifting me a facial, which I think I have a breakout like on my eye. What? And a blowout today. So it's a great Friday. It's very exciting. My all-time favorite song by Trey is out. He said this to me, I think, like the day we recorded for the podcast. I've had an audio file of it, and I've listened to it. I'm not kidding. Every single day since. It is my favorite song. If you listen to it and you know me, you'll understand why. It actually makes me emotional. It is so good. Anyways, go listen to it. It's amazing. Also, I must give a little Thompson review. I didn't vlog much. I did a little TikTok vlog, so I have some footage there, but... First off, my blowout, incredible. Second off, my skin. I have never, this is obviously no filter, it's a video. Why don't I, uh, whatever. This is the best facial I've ever, ever gotten. If you are visiting Dallas, even like you don't even live here, go to the Thompson Spa and get, it is the skin, what was it called? The Glow Skin Better Facial. All the information is on my TikTok and Instagram, but like literally incredible. Anyways, I'm meeting Amanda at Firestone right now to help her with car stuff because she just, she needs help. You know, car stuff is stressful and then she's coming over. My light got replaced while I was gone. I am so excited to go in and see it. The ugly light, my arch nemesis is gone, guys. So this is very exciting. It's a really good week to be me. You know, I'm just, I'm just really thriving. Tonight, I'm actually gonna go see a movie and get dinner with my little brother too. He like never wants to hang out with me. So when he does, I have to jump at the chance. So guys, Amanda's here. I just had to really walk her through Firestone, but okay, look, calm down. <laughs> look at my new light. So I'm not kidding Amanda in every vlog I complain about the other light because it was so ugly and this has just made my life so much better I like it. It is. Oh my god. It's so exciting. And so the bulbs are like Yeah, of I'm gonna have to replace this one now because it's so ugly I'm being a chef today. That's why Amanda comes over. I'm currently doing everything yeah. for her right now. She's just made lunch me we're having a little co-working thing, but now Amanda's actually on my team, guys. I told the vlog yesterday, so it's very convenient. Um, yeah, also, you just tell me all your wants and needs. Yeah, well, coming from the girl who just had me go pick her up from Firestone, bring her here, to and then make her lunch. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, that's what Amanda likes to tell herself. But 
I will say this root beer from Drink Poppy, I really like by the way. I never really even, I like Poppy a lot and I love root beer, but I don't drink soda, so it's perfect. Okay, we've been working, but my Abercrombie order has arrived. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul, but I will have all these linked. I love Abercrombie denim. I have the shorts. I haven't had actual like jeans, but my friends like live in them. I also got a size 29. I'm normally a 27, like I'm a 4'6 normally, but I just got bigger and I feel like these look like they're gonna fit. So all of them are from the Curve Love line. So I got the ankle straight, love. Actually, I probably will film a try on. All right, these are really soft, but I don't love the cut. I, I don't love the like rip in the back. I will say it's definitely like flattering, but they're just not really like my fit of jeans. However, they're really good. These are the ankle straight, um, but they're very comfortable, I will say. So I think these are gonna be returns just because I'm not in love with them and I'm trying to find the perfect pair. And then I got the 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. I'm not gonna keep all these probably, by the way. I ordered a bunch to then try them on to see what I like. Um, and then I can figure it out from there. I like trying on clothes from Home Butter. I like these jeans. I don't love like my stomach in them. I'm, again, being very difficult on these jeans though because I want to find the absolute best pair. They are incredibly comfortable, I will say. They're slim straight. So the, let me twist it this way, it might be easier. As everyone knows, we're over skinny jeans, guys. Um, these are just like slim straight. I don't know, I'm not obsessed with these. I like the fit, I will say they're very comfortable. Um, and by the way, this is a size 29. I'm not like in love with them, so I think I might return. We'll see, because at the same time, I feel like they're actually like really good jeans. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise, which I've heard really good things about these. These have that like kind of asymmetrical button, which honestly I'm over at this point. I've worn, I've worn it too much. These look like they're very long. I got regular. All right, I like the fit of these. Again, really comfortable. Um, these are a size 28. I know that these jeans like stretch out a lot throughout the day too. The only thing is this wash, like it looks a little bit acid washy. All right, these are the 90s straight ultra high rise. Again, I mean, they look good. They have a slit on the side. All right, I love these jeans. They fit perfect everywhere. They're very comfortable. They also have this slit, which will be really cute when I wear them with like either heels or boots or something. The other ones definitely make my butt look better, um, but I will say like these are just very comfy. I like the wash, I like everything about them, and they're gonna be really cute with the booties, which honestly I kind of wanna wear today. I was gonna go cowboy boots, but uh, I guess we'll see. Oh, okay, so these are the 90s relax jean. I just wanted to try these. They seem a little interesting with the top, but like it could be cute in a way to like dress up a look with jeans. Um, so we'll see about those. These I'm definitely keeping. I'm so glad I just decided to try them because they were probably my least favorite online. Um, but they're the jeans that like when you put them on, they end up being really flattering. First off, incredibly comfortable, incredibly soft. Um, I like that they're baggy, really flattering on the butt, but I like the front detailing. I think it's fun. And I just think, again, these will be really cute with like something with heels and then just like a tight top. Like, I just think that they're so cute. Even wearing it with like a long sleeve and sneakers, and I just, I love them. I think they're so cool. Some of them also, by the way, I didn't get all of them in 29. I got them in different sizes. Okay, this is the Curve Love The Dad High Rise. What I thought was cool about these jeans was the size of like little cuts. I thought that was fun. Okay. Guys, I'm so happy because I have a new package from my favorite like healthy cookie dough. So cute. Thank you so much, Cameron. It is just the best stuff ever. I was actually thinking about this the other day and they DM'd me and I was like, that's crazy. Birthday cake, also I'm wearing my favorite daughter sweater. Why isn't anything focusing? This is a small one. Oh, enhanced hazelnut butter. Wow, brownie batter. I just eat it. I mean, you can make cookie dough, but I eat it. Or you can make cookies, but I eat it as cookie dough. Chocolate chip, cosmic brownie. This is the best stuff ever if you're on your period too. Ginger doodle. I mean, this is the best thing. I'm not kidding. I crave it all the time. I've told everyone in my life about it because it's just so good. And they give you this cute little gold spoon. Wow. Well, I think the first thing is recognizing that it is really scary to be alone, especially when you're going through like a trauma or grief or, you know, after a breakup or something, 
but I think if you can you can kind of reframe it as an opportunity to grow and to just under kind of understand things better 